Today, we're witnessing the slow death of cash. It's still used in around half of transactions in the UK. More important, the value of cash transactions is now less than 3% of the total. But does the existence of cash still matter? Absolutely, in two ways. First, it can constrain monetary policy. Globally, interest rates have hit historic lows and a number of important central banks, from the Bank of Japan to Sweden's Riksbank, have imposed modestly negative rates to stimulate the economy. But any future adoption of highly negative rates would force banks to impose heavy charges on bank deposits. This, in turn, would give people an incentive to take their cash out of banks, making monetary policy far less effective. Cash can also make the banking system more vulnerable, because when people worry about the safety of banks, they usually want to take their money out. That possibility makes banks unstable, since they hold cash amounting to only 3 to 4 percent of deposits. So how to avoid such problems? Governments could abolish cash altogether, as the American economist Ken Rogoff has recommended. Authorities could allow citizens to hold completely safe deposits at the central bank. That is already being considered in Sweden. Cash could also vanish from daily life simply because of technology and personal convenience. But governments have reasons of their own to favor a cashless society not least to make it easier to collect taxes in a world where cashless transactions grew 50% between 2005 and 2015. So when could we see a cashless society? Well, Denmark, for example, wants to be cashless by 2030. Cash is a dying technology. It might soon be dead.